I see you work at DM Capital. They're one of our biggest clients. Yes. Would you like to see my driver's license? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. There you go. Have a nice day. Good afternoon. I'd like to make a deposit. Oh, um, this is for business clientele. The regular line is out there. I'm in the right spot. <laughs> I just left the gym. Anyways, I need to make a deposit. Here you come. Oh, where on earth did you get this much cash? From my business. Look, before we go any further, I need to see some ID. Is this really you? Yes, it's really me. I need to see another form of ID. What for? This is the first time I've ever been asked that. Well, according to bank rules, I have the right to ask if I suspect any suspicious activity. Suspicious activity? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. This is my college ID. That should work. Stanford? You really expect me to believe that you went to Stanford? This is a fake ID. Now, I need to see a passport or something more official. Why would I carry a passport to the bank? Oh, you want to be a smart guy. Mary, can you come in here, please? Does this look real to you? Uh, yeah, that's definitely real. OK, thanks. I need to count this. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> I'd like to deposit this too. $20,000. Seriously? What are you doing with this kind of money? It's not any of your business. This is from DM Capital. You really expect me to believe that you work there? This is a fraudulent check, isn't it? You're more than welcome to call the company and confirm yourself. God, you probably don't even have a real job. Why don't I call security instead? You know what? I had enough of this. Just give me my cash and check so I can go. Security! Is everything OK? No, it's not. This man gave me a fake ID, lied about his job, and now he's trying to deposit a fraudulent check. More like she's stereotyping me while I'm just trying to make a simple transaction. Oh, you people are so typical. Always using race as your get out of jail free card. I know a crook when I see one. You know, everything that you just said could not be further from the truth. You see, you said I didn't go to college, but the truth is, not only did I go to one of the most prestigious schools in the country, I also graduated at the top of my class. I even started my own little company after graduation. And over time, that little company turned into a really big company. And now it's one of the most successful financial institutions in our city today. So you see, Never judge a book by its cover, because I'm not only an employee for DM Capital, I'm the CEO. <laughs> you expect for us to believe that. Get him out of here. You can tell he's a liar. What if he's telling the truth? Maybe you should call the number of the company just to be sure. OK, fine. Hi, yeah, this is Karen from World City Bank. I have someone here who's trying to cash a fraudulent check. Can you transfer me to the owner, please? Thanks. You see? You're calling me. I don't understand. Mr. Moore. John, good to see you. Sir, you know this guy? Yes, this is Daniel. Daniel Moore, owner of DM Capital, our biggest client. This guy is our biggest client. Yes. 
Is everything all right here? No, John. Everything is not okay. You see, Karen here just stereotyped me because of the way that I looked. You what? I mean, can you blame me? Just look at him. You should know better than to ever judge a book by its cover. Mr. Moore, I am so sorry. I assure you this will never happen again because Karen here is fired. What? Fired? No, you can't do that. I just did. Will you make sure she gets all of her things? And Mr. Moore, I would love to assist you in my private office. Please follow me. Thank you. Hey, Darman fam. So you see, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.